Hello everyone. Um, apologies if you hear any sizzling in the background, I'm making hash browns. But I just wanted to apologize real quick. I know I haven't posted in quite a few weeks. The footage you're about to see in this video is from a few weeks ago. I just got swamped with a bunch of stuff. As most of you know, it's my senior year at college at university um but yeah thank you all for being patient i just wanted to hop in here real quick and apologize for that videos are probably gonna be sporadic until i graduate to be completely honest but i graduate in like three four weeks pretty crazy and yeah i would like to have this channel be a little bit more regular once i'm outside of school because i definitely want to document my process into adulthood which is scary okay but anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video Hello everyone. I basically, I'm about to go get some gas in my car that I'm gonna pick up Henry because we are going to Minneapolis just for a little day trip. It's spring break and he has other plans for the rest of break, but I do not, so this is my little mini getaway. So yeah, I just figured I would film an intro. I will go get him now though, so yes. Goodbye, messy apartment. Don't shake your head at me. Huh? I said don't shake your head at me. I will shake whatever I want. Oh, yikes. <laughs> okay. Who doesn't love a good lodging? I said I don't like your face, not the song. So we're just doing a little Q&A right now that you guys uh, left your questions to on Instagram. You keep getting all. No. I can't help it. I know you can't. Because <laughs> I got this like white space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I got this black suit on. Wow. Rolling around like I'm ready for a funeral. Ooh, that's so creepy. We'll start with a couple people asking how we met. Right. That's the yeah. That's the iconic question. Great starting point. Do you bleed? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just be honest because why not? Sure. Well, I'll say how we met and then I'll say like when we met IRL. Okay. So we met on Tinder. Mm -hmm the modern age way of, you know, doing that. Yep. And our first little date, I'll say, was at a coffee shop in our college town, so. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. How would you describe each other? More outgoing than I am. So I just would describe you. Yeah, I would say you're more of a, like a square type personality. You prefer schedules and structure, stuff like that. I'm a little more neat than Okay, whatever. You have to throw a stupid artsy word in there. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about each other, and what is something that your partner does that annoys you? Let's start with Annoying. something. Yeah, something that annoys. Sure. So we're gonna end on a high note. You, okay. Oh, sorry. I got a little excited today. I know you. I know you are. I part my hair a specific way. And whenever we lay down or just we're kicking it or whatever, you'll just. It, it seems like intentionally just ruin my part. It's really not intentional. I just like messing with your hair. Well, it's annoying. Something else that annoys me is when you go, yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, <laughs> Eddie Vedder is a contemporary brilliant man. I would disagree with that. Pearl. What makes this relationship better than any previous relationships you've had? Um, I can honestly say I can actually be my 100% self with you, and I don't think I have been able to do that with other people. Yeah. I always have to hide at least something or like change something about myself but I feel like I can pretty much just do whatever with you and you're just kind of used to it, Good. so I yeah. appreciate that. Oh yeah, definitely, I feel the same. Yeah. Um, and I would say what's different about this relationship is it's much, much more mature, Yeah. which is kind of like a, a passe thing to say about relationships in contrast with other relationships you've had. Um, but yeah, it does feel very mature. But how long have you guys been together and do you share similar goals? So like a year... similar goals I would say like some aspects yes but a lot no mm -hmm. like obviously we're studying different things so that wouldn't quite align like career wise but I would say we both you know aspire to happiness as most people do mm -hmm. aspire to have some sort of pet perhaps right that's a good goal financial security yes yeah do I know how to do your hair <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, I do not. That's one thing you guys can never agree on. I'm, I 
want you to answer this first. Mm. Well, I think vinegar and pickles <laughs> are like scum of the earth, like that's so from, rude from Satan's kitchen himself. And I love, I drink that brine. Anyways, mm, my sustenance. <laughs> Am I a vegetarian? And if not, is that something that comes between us? Um, you are not. You, yeah, you can. Yeah, I am not. And if you want to answer, if you feel like you receive it from me between us or not. I don't think it does. I'll be honest. Like, I've dated a guy who's a vegetarian. It really doesn't make anything special. Like, it's just another trait that you have in common. Right. But there's other traits that are, like, way more important to me. I know other people, especially, like, in the vegan community or other vegetarians probably feel differently. But that's how I feel. Right. And we often eat. Whenever yeah. we cook, we make vegetarian meals. Yeah. Like, I have no problem not eating meat. I'm not, like, dedicated to meat. Yeah. How do you get your peers in the school spirit on a daily basis? I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, who asked that question? I don't understand the question. Go Cyclones. <laughs> and I know you hate Cy. Cy is so oh, ugly. Everyone that's another Google. thing we can disagree on. <laughs> she thinks her mascot is ugly, and how He's rude. He's ugly. Everyone, is that so rude? Everyone, go Google Cy, Iowa State University. He's so ugly. He's cute. He's ugly. He's a nice guy. Stand I up. didn't say he's not nice. But you think he's ugly. He's what ugly. a mean thing to say about him. He's ugly. Who is more book smart and who is more street smart? I think I know the answer to this. I'm gonna say well, if I'm being completely honest, I feel like you're both. <laughs> wow, I did not expect I think you're more book smart. Okay, that's nice. Um, what's the favorite part about your relationships? Um, I'll start if you want to think about yours. Sure. It's really nice being in a relationship with someone who can take your photo and take it well. Because we all know it's really hard to get like a rando to take your picture. But having a loved one who can take it and take it well, one of my favorite things. Sometimes I get a good pic out of oh, you. Oh no, I, it's my favorite thing right. of you. I'm not saying I bring it to you. I know. I appreciate that you will dance with me whenever I want to dance. For instance, last night in Trader Joe's, we're yeah. kicking it, and then some dude walked past. What did he say to you? He's like, that's how it's done. Hey. And I'm like, thank you. We'll go with a, a more of a, a serious one. Okay. Um, I'll just read the whole thing. Okay. I've been in multiple mixed race relationships, and I've never really thought about the outward appearance of it, but apparently my BFs have because they were POCs. Do you have different experiences of being different races in a relationship? Or do you talk about it a lot? Or does your life situation make it sort of moot? Yes. So I feel like with you, something else I appreciate is that you, like, and hopefully no one will be offended watching this video, but like, I can complain about white people mm -hmm. and you understand what I mean. I don't right. mean all white people. Right. I just mean like the types of people that make POCs have a really hard time in life. Yes. I can complain about that and you yep. understand what I'm saying. So that's one aspect. Yeah. Speaking of understanding, I'll say the biggest thing is that with my identity, I can never fully understand Tara in her plight, but something I think we work on in a relationship is me trying to understand as best as I can sure. and reach a level where, you know, I'm always trying to think about her needs and how they might differ than mine. Sure. So that's something I'm cognizant of. Yeah. But I don't really feel it's like different than any other relationship no. based on that. No. Um, and outward appearances are kind of something I don't concern myself with. Like, I'm just with the person I love. Yeah. So. And I'll be honest, most relationships in my particular family are mixed race. Like, like pretty much almost all of my immediate family. Like, that's kind of just what I'm used to growing up with. I'm right. used to seeing a lot of, like, brown kids or, like, you know... Got a little bit Asian here, got a little bit, you know, black, white, whatever. So it's kind of just what I grew up around. And, like, I don't want to say it for me it's weird to see, like, same race relationships because it's not. Right. But it's my norm to see not same race relationships. Yeah. Well so, said. yeah. What qualities attracted to you? What? Wait, what qualities attracted you to each other in the first place? Just, like, the fact that we were immediately able to talk for a very long time about pretty yes. much whatever. Mm -hmm. I also can appreciate anyone who was either an emo or a pop punk kid at an early stage in life. If they didn't go through that phase, I'm sorry. I'm probably just not going to connect with you on a completely deep level. Like, we can get right. along, but... Well, when that playlist comes on, like, what are people going to do? Right. Like, not just sit there in silence. Like exactly. People. So. Um, for me, and I think this is something many people won't admit, but 
when I first saw Tara, I was like, wow, she's gorgeous. She's incredibly beautiful. Um, and that was definitely one factor. But the thing that took it over the edge, that took it past surface level, was exactly what Tara said. We like talked for like four hours on our first date, just like chatted and chatted. Which sometimes it happens, it's not like completely unique, but it's a good sign yeah. that we'd have a great chance together yeah. because, uh, yeah, we'll keep each other company for a long time. There you go. Oh, my saucepan. I was like, why are you showing me this? Yes. <laughs> Pretty sick. Thank you. Hi. I just realized I haven't actually been vlogging according to Henry. Right. So I'll do that real quick, but I have nothing to say. So. Ikea mob. Yep. Love it here. What would you say is your favorite thing about Ikea? Um, the food. The hot sauce. Yeah. The Oh, it's the hot the sauce. The hot sauce. It's so good. Dang it. I'm on me. <laughs> It's too bright. You're so fake. <laughs> oh, okay, bye. Okay, hello everyone. So, last you saw us, we were at Ikea, but um, otherwise it's a new day. We did go in the pool yesterday here at the pool, but there was yesterday here at the pool. I meant yesterday here at the hotel, um, but there were so many kids. It was still enjoyable, but so many children. Anyway, today we're gonna go meet one of the gals I interned with at Target. Probably go to the Mall of America, and then probably honestly go back to Ikea because we didn't eat any of the food yesterday, and we do like Ikea food, so we'll probably go back. Um, and then we'll go to this Chinese restaurant near where I used to live here, so yeah. I think that's the day. Hello. Hello. We're at Ikea for a second time. I think I said that we were coming here a second time. This hot sauce. Oh my God. What's this your sauce. review? This is like probably like the best like at a restaurant hot sauce I've ever had. And that's saying something coming from this guy. So just so you, just so y'all know, check that out. But otherwise we're kind of having a boring day. So I don't know why I'm showing Henry as I talk. Well, what I mean by boring is like, here, I'll, I'll put it on me. We visited my friend Marissa, like I said, at the mall, which was nothing to show you, which is me what I mean by boring. Boring for the vlog, fun for us. So yeah, that's all I have to say. The first of two dinners. Yeah, actually this is the first of two dinners. So um, I'll, I'll show our other dinner in a little bit. Probably will be the next thing I show.